Hey everybody, Autobot John here, and I just wanted to show my latest custom. This is my 1-6 one, one scale, The Undertaker, two, uh, 2012 slash 2013 look. With his mohawk look, uh, kind of a shaven head look. He is about as close to The Undertaker as I can make. Uh, he's on a muscle body, and the body is um, all these tattoos. I can't get in close enough to show you, but they've all been hand drawn. It took about four hours because the ink kept wanting to come off of it, but they've been painted on, inked on. So they're all legit, too. I went in and gave him all his tattoos. Um, the outfit is basically just thrown together from some old Star Wars robes I didn't need and some leather pieces that I made myself. Um, it's got the hood design on too, as you can see. With the little strap and the little buckle things on them. Uh, he's got his suit bones on with the white tape on them. Um, the head is a repainted, re-sculpted uh, Deluxe Aggression head. Um, anybody that ever collected wrestling figures, you know what those are. Give me one minute, guys. Glass cleaner. Okay, so as you can see, the outfit, the robe does come off. It's pretty much hooked on by this little belt thing that he has. That um, It's a Darth Maul Hasbro belt that I didn't need anymore, and it clips in the back. Um, so the outfit does come off, and then underneath he has uh, just some regular black boots I gave him. A uh, black jumpsuit which does I, I I'm very surprised that I had to sew it in the back but it actually does flex pretty well for him so you can get him in a lot of cool poses um, but it's the I mean it's the undertaker so it's not like he's uh, going to fly or do you know any Batman poses or anything but you can get him in some really really cool poses um, the only thing I don't have for him yet, because I haven't figured out how to do it, is I don't have any logos on his tights yet, but I am talking to people on how to do that. Uh, as you can tell, it's a Rambo body that he's on. Uh, but here's a closer look at the tattoos, I guess. Uh, you can see the old man weeping at the top. Um, the crying skull... You see on the side, I don't know if it, you can see it, but right there he's got the demon that's crossing its arms, and there's the hand for you know there's the eye and there's the hand, uh, the hair which comes down makes like a snake. Um, on his other arm, you can see the skull right there. Um, the weeping man again with the crown uh, on his head that turns into the. Um, the castles, the, uh, where is it? I mean, it, it, right there, the uh, deaf angel, I, I just pretty much went in and gave him as many tattoos as I could find, and there's that skeleton on the back of his neck, uh, the pattern on his neck, on both sides of his neck, I don't know what that is, and underneath, I can't show it, well, maybe I can, I don't want to rip it. Uh, this is not something I intended to remove. 
again so let me see if I can show it to you without messing him up uh, if I can grab a piece of it real quick and pull it down yeah there's his other tattoo right there so I pretty much went in all out on this guy and made him as show accurate as possible and I've had a lot of people that I have shown this figure to already say, why didn't you go with the long hair Undertaker? Well, times change, and the Undertaker changes with the times. That's the one reason he's stayed relevant all these years, in my opinion. Um, one of the best, if not the best wrestlers of all time. And I really do like his new look. He looks a lot more different, and you know he's not trying to stay as young with all these other guys. He, he you know, it's almost like he's not afraid of his age. And um, I, I really like him. He looks a lot more different, but still cool. And uh, like, you can give me a minute, and I'll show you like some poses. I mean, it's the Undertaker, like I said. So I mean, it's not, not like there's tons and tons of poses that the Undertaker does. But uh, um, let's see, I get you in a choke slam position, like he's getting ready to choke slam. And the the really surprising thing is that with the muscle bodies, I was reading. A lot of people were like telling me, oh no, the, the ink will rub off, and but I haven't had any problems. It's smeared in a couple of places, but I fixed it, and uh, I haven't really had any other issues with them so far. Now, it is a muscle body, so you still have to be careful. You don't want to break it. But, like I said, you can get him in a lot of cool uh, Undertaker positions. Like, this is probably my favorite one. I mean, everybody who's an Undertaker fan knows what that means. That means your time's up. He's about to uh, take you to school. Um, just something cool, you know, I was sitting there, and, uh, I actually, I was on Sideshow Freaks when I saw it, and there was a guy that was making custom wrestling figures, like Rob Van Dam, uh, Brett the Hitman Hart, stuff like that, and it just dawned on me that there really are not a lot of wrestling customs, I don't know why. Because they'd be pretty cool. Um, I do have works uh, when when I am able to again of working on uh, John Zena or Randy Orton. Um, his famous, you know, when he gets ready to fight pose. And as you can see, I told you the tattoos stay on really good, and the head's still on a ball joint, so he can move. Uh, well, it's a muscle body, so you have to be careful because you're not supposed to move it all the way down. But it can look up, can look to the side. And it doesn't mess up his anything on him. Um, so, yeah, I mean, he's really cool. I mean, you get him in a lot of cool poses. Like, for instance, his legs. You can get where, you know, the Undertaker does his little um, kick-to-the-face crap. <laughs> See? So the jumpsuit, and the jumpsuit is off of a... 12 inch I think it was a yeah the jumpsuit I got off of an old stormtrooper uniform I didn't need anymore um, from one of the Hasbro Star Wars stormtroopers and I took it off very gently and then I had to sew it in the back again because it ripped but uh, it works really nice for the Undertaker it gives him that black jumpsuit look you know that he has now and uh, I think it really looks good on him uh, for size comparison here he is next to um, my battle-damaged Arnold Schwarzenegger. So, you know, The Undertaker and Schwarzenegger, I would, I, I guess I would say they're about the same size maybe. Um, but the stand is a lot bigger, so technically I think Undertaker would be a little taller, I'm not sure. Um, here he is next to Rick Grimes. So as you can see, the Undertaker is a lot taller. So I did go size-wise comparison, 
and uh, tried to make him as tall as he is in the show. Combined a couple of figures to do so, but uh, yeah. Uh, like I said, I wish I could give you a closer look of his tattoos. I will be posting pictures of this. Uh, actually, I have on Facebook. Um, but just giving you a price-wise of how much this co figure costs to make, 20 bucks. I bought the head from a guy off Sideshow for like 10 bucks. That was the most expensive part. I had everything else. Duck, I mean, electric tape isn't expensive, and all I did for that was just make his little wrist guards that he wears. His elbow pad is just made of a piece of cloth that I found, two pieces of cloth, and sewed them together. The suit, if you have an old Star Wars figure you don't need anymore, um, and I have tons of stormtroopers in this box right here, so I don't, it's not like I'm wasting anything, you know, I'm, I'm not destroying anything I really need. Um, the boots are just Star uh what, uh, sideshow Han Solo boots that I repainted and made them a little brighter. And, uh, you know, it just takes time and effort, but you can make a really cool Undertaker. The costume is made, like I said, off of old Star Wars parts, like a Darth Maul robe and some leather pieces put together. And so, uh, you know, everybody that sits there and says that you have to go expensive to make a very cool custom. Um, no, you don't. It just depends on, you know, what you're able to do. But I hope you guys like him. He's the first of uh, many wrestlers to come. And I'm not saying I'm going to create the ultimate collection of wrestlers, but I think uh, I will make a John Cena, uh, Randy Orton, um, a Sting would be kind of cool to make, you know, because I used to be a, a, WC, a WCW fan. And just to put Undertaker and Sting in the same category would be cool as hell. Um, I may come back and make an alternate head for the Undertaker, just one with the long hair, just for you know the fun of it. I don't know, but I really like his mohawk look. And uh, I can't remember your name, dude, but you know who you are, and every, I think everybody knows who you are. The one that made the wrestling figures, the Bret Hart, the Rob Van Dam. Uh, the Hulk Hogan, or plans to make Hulk Hogan, um, you, thanks for the help and uh, giving me the info on where to get some of the stuff. Uh, even though I didn't go with it, I did check it out. It was pretty cool still. Um, and I hope that uh, all your stuff comes out good, and I'd love to see your version of The Undertaker. And I hope maybe this video helped you, man. Because um, like I said, you could go with a bunch of bodies, but if you want realistic. The muscle bodies are the best, especially if a wrestle, if you're doing a wrestling figure. I mean, because, you know, most of the... The thing about a regular body for, like, Rick Grimes and, and some other figures is basically you can hide joints and stuff because of clothing. Wrestlers show their pretty much... Ha they, you know, what you see on the show, they don't hide anything, really. So you just basically... These, I think these are the best bodies to use. Uh, and a quick update, just showing everybody. Here is the alien, still working on him. Uh, it's a long project, guys. As you can see, I've already started working on the back of him. And, uh, oh no, sound wave. But, uh, he's still a work in progress. You know, with my job and everything, it's hard to get to this stuff. I've um, been working on him for, I don't know, about a year now, maybe close to it. He's going to be really cool when he's done. But uh, basically, don't have a lot of money to go and buy new parts and stuff, so using what I have. And I think it's coming out really good, too. But anyway, guys, there's the Phenom, the Lord of Darkness. One of the greatest wrestlers ever in my opinion, and um, The Undertaker will always be the phenom, in my opinion, and I don't care what anybody else says, and all these other wrestlers have come and gone, and The Undertaker still remains, oh, and The Shield, quit saying it's your yard, it's not your yard.
I'm going to tout that too. When they read messages on Raw and SmackDown, everybody's like, oh, the Shield owned the yard. It's the Undertaker's yard, and he will be back to claim it. All right, guys, leave me feedback. Let me know what you think. And a big shout out to my boy Odell, Too Cool Kruger, Darth Magnus, Sir Brad, Texas Kev, Saw Fanatic, One's Customs. Great to see you back, bro. Your work is amazing. Yeah, you got better. You got even better than I remember. Um, Test Jess, um, Red is Power, which is my brother. Um, I did finally did a review of that Terminator figure, guys, from Hot Toys that I, Odell uh gave me for christmas if you want to see it it's on his channel i decided to put it on his channel instead of mine um just look for uh sonic ranger or red is power and it should be up there um what else what else oh man of steel guys countdown begins um got a custom in the works for him hopefully if i can get everything working together um may be a while but uh counting down to the movie so tired of seeing all these tvs spots for it i'm so ready for this thing to come out man i think it's going to be the i think it's going to kick ass and honestly i think reeve is going to get surpassed that's just my personal opinion i hate to be that way because you know i'm a very big superman fan but i don't know this this new superman is just looking really cool um yeah, um, and to all the guys who went to the FanCom, uh, saw the videos you guys posted online, one day I hope to make it to one of those, but uh, I really do appreciate some of the guys that gave me some shout-outs for that. Um, other than that, guys, that's about it. Just trying to get everything straight, you know, do what I can. Uh, leave me feedback, let me know what you think. And, yeah. Peace, bitches.